So each SERP is different. Obviously, we're, we're basing our link building and the anchor text based off of who, who is currently per, outperforming us inside the SERP to see what's winning. What I mean by that is what anchor text is currently winning. We need to match and mirror. We also want to be able to beat and we can beat by building the same types, anchor text types, but at a higher authoritative backlinks. That's going to be quality will trump the amount. They could have as many as they want. I could build less that are more potent utilizing the right anchor text and outrank them. I'm not saying that utilizing exact match is what's needed or not needed in any SERP. Some SERPs are going to call for it. Some SERPs aren't. This is going to be determined by who is currently beating you. That's it. If Google's rewarding this particular site, there's a reason. We just want to follow suit. Now, how do we get a competitive advantage? Like I mentioned here, number one, each SERP is different. What I mean by is each SERP is different and look to your competitors for what you need to be doing is if I want to rank for whether it's plumber Memphis, Tennessee, or whether it's plumber Nashville, Tennessee, I need to see who's ranking above me. So that's one of the first steps. The second step is, is we need to match the SERP. We need to match the anchor text or at least give ourselves a guideline. So utilizing a tool such as SEMrush or, or any other equivalent that you're comfortable with, we can come to the realization of what we need to utilize as far as anchor text is concerned. No, we don't need to match anchor text for anchor text. If we can see that when we do a search and we want to win this right here, when I come inside of here looking at the main SERP, I'm not necessarily looking, maybe not at a big, big brand, but I will take a look at this particular site or this particular page, and we're going to take a look at it. We want to bring it into our domain overview. So really what we're looking at is, okay, we have 21 backlinks coming into this particular page, this exact page that's winning the SERP that we want to win. We can see that the text, the anchor text out of the 18 links that have been built is containing what type of anchor text? 24 hour plumbing, 24 hour plumbing, right? We're seeing a recurring theme here. And, and again, we're looking at anchor text. We can look at it this way too. 24 hour plumbing. All right. So this is the anchor text that is dominating for this particular page in this particular area. So we're not just going to take the very first person's word for it. We're going to take that into account, obviously, but that's not the only thing that we need to do. We need to also think to ourselves, okay, they're, they're, they're in there off of 24 hour plumber, but they're ranking very high for plumber Nashville, Tennessee. All right. But the anchor text doesn't say that. However, this could be semantically correct for this particular SERP. That's why you always want to look at the SERP always. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull up one more because we need to get a, another, we need more than one set to understand what we should be doing. So again, we're going to bring it right into our tool. We want to go ahead and take a look and analyze the anchor text. We could see here that this is going to be um, basically generic, generic. We have branded, right? Um, we have URL, URL, URL. We have website, get code. Let's just take a look here. Um, let's just take a look at the backlinks. We could see that 82% are text links. Let's take a look at their follow backlinks and get a better understanding of common plumbing services, plumbing service, commercial plumbing company, uh, plumbing service company, commercial plumbing, commercial plumber, plumbing services, plumbing service. So, so far, all right, we can see that if we want to rank, this is just one tiny example, one example. If we wanted to rank for Plumber Nashville, Tennessee, at no time has any of the anchor text ever for the top performers contained the primary keyword of Plumber Nashville, Tennessee. I'm not saying that utilizing exact match is what's needed or not needed in any SERP. Some SERPs are going to call for it. Some SERPs aren't. This is going to be determined by who is currently beating you, all right? We want to match and mirror so we can crush and dominate and win. That's it. If Google's rewarding this particular site, there's a reason. We just want to follow suit. Now, how do we get a competitive advantage? That's really 
what what the questioning really here should be and, and that's when we start thinking a little bit further all right so now that you have a better understanding of this particular question as far as what keywords should i utilize for my backlinks this this dennis is determined by what is currently winning inside of the serps also to answer your questions i hear that using exact keywords can be seen as spam not if everybody that's currently winning is utilizing them right if that's what the SERP is calling for, then it's not spam. Now let's talk about getting a competitive advantage, all right? So in order to receive or get or, 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 or achieve a competitive advantage, this starts when we start talking about maybe introducing different variants of anchor text along with a much higher power link. Let me go ahead and explain utilizing the same exact example. The backlinks that are coming in here, let's take a look at referring domains. Our referring domains are very simple. So what we want to see is we want to take a look at our referring domains and we need to figure out, okay, how many does this particular website have, all right, that are going to meet, depending on your, depending on your tool, is going to determine you know, it, you're going to get different varying scores. You don't have to base everything off a of score, but it's a good underlying way to get a brief understanding of what's going on in a particular SERP. To get a competitive advantage is by utilizing, the long story short of it is by utilizing the same anchor text that's currently working, just with better or stronger links. That's how you get a competitive advantage. If I can match and mirror the same anchor text that's currently performing very well within the SERP, but I can do it at a level or degree that's a much stronger link, then I can outperform my competitors. So uh, explanation done there. So let's take a look at this. The next piece of the question is, um, we talked about the spam. We talked about what keywords to use. We talked about um, if I had a guest post on a website, would I link Plumber Nashville or Tom's Plumbing? Um, and I hear exact keywords can be seen as spam. So the process is this. Let me go ahead and break it down. Regardless if, regardless of the keyword, all right? So let's just say, again, let's, let's keep it within local. It's going to be plumber. If that's the phrase that I want to win, I need to see which pages are currently working, right? Who's beating me inside the SERP? We want to get one. We want to get two. We want to get three different sites of spam people of websites that are currently beating us we need to then analyze the anchor text to determine well what is the primary anchor text that's coming into this page that google is rewarding when we take a look and we understand hey this guy is ranking for new york plumber but his anchor text is plumbing services company well there you go Plumber services company and 24-hour plumber is rewarded at a higher level than having the exact keyword inside of our anchor text. So that pretty much wraps it up. I, I wanted to just go ahead and answer this question for you. Anchor text SEO guide video. Have a wonderful day.